Welcome back to School of Civil Engineering. This is Atullah with another new video. As we have started CSI Safe 2016 tutorial series, and oh, also we have completed many video about CSI Safe 2016 software, and also I have uh, shown you that how we'll design our slab, different types of slab, then different types of foundation, and in our previous three lectures, I have just shown you that how we'll design and analysis a matte foundation perfectly so with detailing actually so if you're new here you can watch our previous video then full playlist are given in description and also you will find that link in the end of that video so and also I'm just requesting you before starting that uh, if you're a civil engineer and if you're new to our channel then don't forget to subscribe to our channel and also press the bell icon so first of all I'll open our previous model so here is our previous model and you know that you know le last lecture I have just completed two different check okay two different check about deformation or settlement check and soil pressure check or bearing capacity check right and uh, if you don't know about that and also if you new here you can watch our previous lecture link are also given in description so now uh, just in our previous le lecture I have just shown you that we have seen that our uh, punching share check are failing okay because our punching share uh, value should be less than 2.5 I'm uh, sorry uh, should be less than a uh, 1 but here 2.5 almost 2.6 uh, this value is huge so our mat are failing in punching shirt check okay our mat are failing in punching shirt check and in another two check our mat is okay now we'll go for that check right so I mean uh, how we'll pass that punching shirt check I'll just show you so I'll just unlock it okay and uh, I have told you in my previous every lecture that if our foundation are being failing for settlement or for soil pressure then we have to increase our foundation size and if our foundation are failing in punching shear check then we have to increase our foundation thickness with column stiff right so first of all i will just right click here just I'll select and right click here and from here you are see, seeing that it's matte okay it's uh, 250 just simply click here and it will come here and carefully select that option matte 2500 then click here modify and from here I'll give her matte uh, 3500 millimeter okay 35 350 and here also 350 millimeter this is matte and uh, here simply click ok ok and again simply click ok here it's ok now we have completed our that data ok and if you right click here now see here our matte foundation has changed now we'll just from here we'll select our all column steps so from here select then uh, from here properties then slab properties and from here select column stiff then okay now we have selected all of our column stiff okay we have selected all of our column stiff and uh, so so here uh, as we have selected all of our column stiff now I'll just go here assign then slab data then uh, properties so from here this is column stiff and I'll go here modify properties and from here I'll just change that data 350 because I have just uh, changed that data I I'm just going to change that data because our uh, foundation thickness and your column stiff thickness thickness should be same okay so click okay then click ok here and uh, just see here we have changed our wall column stiff data now we'll go for analysis 
just click here and see what happened actually now so if I go here display then our deformation shape and we know that for load combo our ultimate uh, load combo number two our when I, I mean uh, we find the maximum settlement so apply so just see here here our maximum settlement is 27 so our foundation is safe for that data and again I'll go here or display then solve reaction and again similarly UDC I mean uh, ultimate design code ultimate and its soil pressure then apply now see here it's showing the maximum soil pressure as 100 110 okay so it's right now I'll go here close now we'll go for punching shear check so by clicking here also we can see our punching shear data so click here punching shear check now see here our that value is now 1.18 actually so it's very close to it's very close to our desert value so I mean uh, our value should be less than 1 okay so again I'll just similarly I will increase our slab thickness and column stiff so right click sorry oh, I'll just go here unlock it then right click on foundation and see here our foundation have selected now from here go mat and from here select mat carefully then actually when you have selected mat here then please do not change your that data otherwise the software will consider the mat as a column stiff right so here I'll just go modify and from here I'll go here 400 mm I'll just consider it's 400 mm 400 mm then okay then okay then okay now again we'll go here select all column stiff property then slab property and from here column stiff then okay now see here we have selected 20 areas I mean they have 4 and 5 4 into 5 20 20 areas now we'll go here assign slab sorry assign slab data then properties and from here column stiff then modify it then give it 4 hundred right then okay then okay so it's done now again we'll go for run analysis so uh, actually our uh, that I mean our soil pressure check and also our uh, settlement check is okay now I'll just go for by clicking a punching shirt so uh, just see here here our wall foundation with punching share I mean or all columns with punching share check it's okay now just see here every pointer okay but I'll just request you please ensure that your value is less than 0 0.9 for good factor of safety your value should be 0 0.9 less than 0 0.9 or equal to 0 0.9 for factor of uh, good factor of safety uh, and just see here it's 0 0.92 it's okay actually for design purpose that value is absolutely okay but uh, if we use just see here 0 0.8857 that value is more I mean uh, here you will get more safety that's why I'm just uh, telling you ensure that your value is less than 0 0.9 it's uh, when according to design code when your data values less than one then it's okay but uh, for our safety purpose we can consider 0 0.92 okay so it's done actually our that all different types of check have completed so now in our next lecture I'm just going to show that how we'll design and also how we'll go for detailing finally so uh, we have completed our every text 
in our uh, previous three lecture with that lecture so if you think that that was helpful for you then don't forget to subscribe to our channel and also press the bell icon and like our video share our video and please don't forget to leave a comment because your own comment inspires for the next work so thank you thank you very much as well as the connected till next video